Hi, YouTube. It's been a while, hasn't it? How you been? How you doing? We are living in a world of craziness, aren't we? With this coronavirus stay home stuff. Wherever you're from, I hope that you're safe and I hope that you're healthy. I'm at home, as you can see. It's a Monday, I think. It's a Monday, I don't know, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but we're here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, for those of you watching this video and see the time gap in between my last video and this one, you can also see that I'm in a different location. Eric and Waffles and I moved. Uh, to my hometown in Ohio, so now I'm closer to my grandma. Thank goodness I'm happy to be back in this area and out of the condo where we were living. Hello, she's gonna pop up during this video. That's that's just what she does. She goes wherever she wants. She's sitting in the window right now. Um, <laughs> if you want an apartment tour, I'll happily give it to you. This is a two bedroom townhouse. Don't know if I said that already. Um, and it's quiet and it's wonderful and I love it here and it's so much better than where we were. Okay. Um, I guess I'll give you a little bit of a life update. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to title this video. Uh, the main thing that we're going to do in this video though is we're going to unbox an owl crate. Now it has been a while since I filmed a YouTube video and filmed an unboxing. Um, I have been getting them every month. Owl Crate and Boxy Charm. And since you saw me, I have started subscribing to Sticky Club and Pip Sticks, the sticker subscriptions out there. So if you want like a kind of a recap of what I've been getting from them and a future like unpackaging of those when they come in the mail for this month, let me know. Um, but yeah, one of the main reasons why I took a break from videos, I think was because of where we were living. I was not inspired. I was way more depressed than I am now. <laughs> um, I just, I didn't really have the energy to, to film or the time. And now I do, especially since we're all staying home right now. So I hope this video will provide you some entertainment. So this is the April 2020 Owl Crate. And I know what you're thinking, but Jen, it's May 4th. Why are you unboxing it now? Well, Outcrate had some packaging delays, some shipping delays because of the Ronas. Um, and I just got it today. I just, I just got it a little bit ago. It came to my door. And may the 4th be with you, by the way. All my Star Wars fans out there. Um, I'm not wearing a Star Wars t-shirt on this day. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. Maybe I should have changed before this video. I don't know, but I just threw on my favorite long sleeve. Which, by the way, is an office shirt. Love it. You like it? Employee of the Month, Dunder Mifflin. And it says, or Scranton Branch. It says right there. And then it says the Dunder Mifflin logo down the sleeve. This is probably going to end up backwards. Because I'm filming this on my phone in selfie mode. Like I said in my last videos, I don't have a fancy camera. No, I did not get one over the break. Because I don't need one. I can film it on here. So I am going to apologize for something because this box was so delayed. I was obsessively checking my email and my tracking info over the past week. And when it finally came, I just couldn't wait and I opened it. So we're not opening this together for the first time. Next month, I promise I will. Well, if I do a video, I'm hoping I will. We'll see what happens, you know. Um, I will hold off and I will open it with you if I film it. That's that's sort of a promise. You get it. You know. So I did open it and I have this stuff sitting on the chair next to me. Um, so we're just going to kind of go through it. Um, for those of you that don't know what Alcrate is, this is a subscription company. That will send you a box like this every month. It's got a little owl on it, owl crate, and like little owl tracks and stuff like that. Um, and in it is a book, um, usually YA or fantasy, and also goodies that 
Okay. <laughs> also, goodies in the box that go with other fandoms and other YA fantasy novels out there. And like other, yeah, fandoms and series and stuff like that. Cool little things that you can use. I love this month's stuff. I feel like I'm going to use all of it. And I'm super excited. Last month, though, March, that was my favorite month from Owlcrate ever. I've been with them for over two years, and I loved Owlcrate March 2020 box. The theme was Music of the Night. My favorite thing in that box was a Phantom of the Opera poster because Phantom of the Opera is... My stuff, you know, that's that's my first love. I love Phantom of the Opera. It's my favorite musical. Anyway, we can gush about that some other time. So here we go. This month's theme um, was Full Moon Magic. And, hang on, I gotta get some. In it now, in the box, is just the, the crap. <laughs> the, the packing stuff and like, wrappers and things like because I took everything out and so we're just gonna toss this to the side now I am keeping the box because my cat loves these boxes when waffles was still living outside um I made a little bed for her out of one of Outcrate's boxes and posted it on Facebook and Outcrate replied and thanks Outcrate by the way for supplying my cat with boxes that she can curl up in and chew on and all kinds of stuff she loves these things so I am going to go, hang on, let me find the spoiler card. All right, this is the spoiler card. I keep these, by the way. Um, all of the paper thingies, like the letters to the author, the little booklet they give you for the month, the spoiler cards, I keep them in the book when I, like after I unbox it, I put them all in the, in the book. And so this is the card, this has like the artwork on it for the month. And then it has all the spoiler stuff that tells you what everything is. So I'm just going to lay it right there so I can read it for you. Um, the first thing I saw in the box was the pin. Like that was right on top. But I'll show you that when we get to the book. So I'm just going to sit that aside. First thing. I'm really excited about this one. So it's a little pouch. And it says a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. And it's a little canvas pouch, little kind of like burlap-y feel. And it says, inside our canvas pouch, featuring a dreamy quote from Oscar Wilde, you'll find a bamboo moon phase banner. What was that? <laughs> to add some celestial vibes to your wall decor, both designed by Alcrate team member at Paperback Bones. So when you open it up, which I love this little pouch, by the way. I think once I hang this up, I'm going to reuse this for something. I just don't know what yet. Um, you pull it out. And it's just what it says. It's a moon phase banner. Now, I know that some people are probably going to leave it like this. But I think I want to paint it. And I'll make them look like moons, but maybe colorful moons. Maybe just Roy G. Biv this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll see, but I'm excited. This is inspiring me. And I think I'm going to sit on it for like a day and figure it out. If you want to follow me on Instagram, um, my Instagram is at theaternerd2009. And theater is spelled with an E-R. I know. I was lame back in high school when I didn't spell it with R-E like it's supposed to be. But T-H-E-A-T-E-R-N-E-R-D 2009. And I'll put that in the description. Um, and after I paint it, I'll put it on there. And so you can see it there if you want. So there's that. That's the first thing in the box. Love it. Next is this little box here. I'm guessing it's going to be jewelry. I mean, I know. But when I opened it up, I was like, oh, it's a jewelry item. And so here we go. Where is it? Okay. Wear a bit of subtle lunar love on your wrist. 
with our Winterwood inspired crescent moon bracelet designed by Team Alcrate. Let's open it up. And it is rose gold, if that's showing up on camera. And it's got a little crescent moon. God. Love it. It's so pretty. It seems like it's adjustable too, but I'll probably just leave it at this width. Oh, also, by the way, here's another little update. Um, since I've seen you, I got my first tattoo. I got a semicolon on my wrist. So I can see it when I write. It's on the top. I love it. It was so much fun. It was great. I can't wait to get more. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think I'm just going to leave this on. And I'll just set the box to the side. These are great little boxes too. I've gotten a couple things from Alcrate that come in boxes like this. And I use them for other things. Brief pause while I get my favorite drink open. This is not sponsored at any by any means, but Diet Coke, if you ever want to sponsor me, let me know. I love your stuff. I guess that would be Coca-Cola Company, I don't know. Alright, next thing in the box is a tote bag. And on the other side, let's see. Our Shatter Me inspired tote bag created by Unlucky Design makes for the perfect subtlety bookish addition to your reusable shopping bag stash. And it says on here, the moon is a loyal companion. I love this bag. Probably going to use this for book trips to like Barnes and Noble or something. It's so cool. All right. Put that in my closet with my other little tote bags I've gotten from Alcrate to use in the future. Next, this might be my favorite thing in the box. It's a notebook. Stationary things are my favorite things to get in this. Notebooks, pens, washi tape. I, I love getting those in the mail and it's even better when they come in an Alcrate because Alcrate's my favorite subscription. So here we go. Whether you use it to jot down your favorite quotations from your current read or track your endless to-be-read list, this notebook featuring an Oscar Wilde quote and lovely artwork from Kim Becker Design will let you do it in style. And so here it is. <laughs> I can't even show. I'm so excited. So this quote from Oscar Wilde, I have put it in my bullet journal before. And it's with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon. Who could not be happy? I love this notebook. It's white and black. It's my favorite. And you open it up, it's lined paper, and it feels really nice. It's smooth. The pages feel a little bit thin, but that's okay. I'm just gonna be using it with pen, but yeah. it. Whenever I get a notebook like this that's spiral bound on the top, it reminds me of the handy dandy notebook from Blue's Clues. Anybody else feel that way? I don't know why. <laughs> Just childhood coming back to me. Okay, this is the last thing before we get to the book. It's a jigsaw puzzle. And we solemnly swear that you'll have fun piecing together our 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. Once assembled, you'll see the gorgeously illustrated artwork that at, I don't know, Italian art, maybe? I'm not really sure how to, how to say it. Waffles, must you? <laughs> Created to celebrate the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor. We're all a bit moony over Remus Lupin. And so here's the artwork for it. It's kind of, I'm trying to get it so the glare isn't going. There we go. It's him in his office, and it's got all these wonderful things. It's 300 pieces. I'm so excited. I might do it today. I don't know. We'll see. But I love it. It's so cool. I love it. All right. Now for the book. This month's book is... I just dropped a thing. Crap. <laughs> Waffles, pick that up for me so I can get it. Okay. Bone Crier's Moon. 
by Catherine Purdy. So, the spoiler card says, Bone Crier's Moon is a spellbinding story brimming with vibrant mythology. Love it. Star-crossed lovers. Love it. And dangerous magic. Love it. Trifecta. It's wonderful. I can't wait to read this. Our I'll Create Exclusive Edition features a unique cover and beautiful sprayed edges. Author Catherine Purdy signed the book and included an author letter for our subscribers as well. So when you open it up, the cover is different, and I'll show you how it is different. And it is signed right there. And the sprayed edge is really cool. They're like a, I don't know what kind of color it is, but I'm about it. It's neat. And it comes with the author letter, just like the thing said. And this is the pin that it comes with. White Wide Woods designed this month's enamel pin around a very special companion from Bone Crier's Moon, the most benevolent owl we've read about since Hedwig. And that's it. It kind of looks to me like maybe it'll glow in the dark. I don't know. I doubt it. But I'll be interested to see how this owl comes into play in the book. So that'll be fun. And then at the bottom of the box, you get a little booklet thingy. And you open it up and it's got like an interview with the author. And then this is how the covers are different. That's the original. So it's got like green leaves and it's like a gray tone. And then that's ours that we got. So they changed the colors of it. I love it when they do that. It makes me, it feel like even more special to get this book. And then it comes with a word search. And this is an interviewer. Um, or an interview from Unlucky Designs with the about the bag and how they designed it. And then it's got a the April photo challenge. And then I love it that they started doing this. It has a Spotify playlist to listen to while you read the book. And so the moods of the playlist will help the book. It, it's that's just amazing. Whoever thought of that, love it. And other releases that they recommend and there's all kinds of goodies in this little thing and then what fell off the table one second is also at the bottom of the box you'll get a little card that says the theme for the may box is rebels with a cause and so that's a marble listen i know you want to be on youtube also but you interrupted me all right and so there's the artwork for for may um and then on the back, it has a sneak peek that says, Every May box will include a graphic novel from Oni Press. Two books in one box. Um, I'm not a huge graphic novel person, but I'll give it a shot. If Alcrate recommends it, I'll give it a shot. I mean, I'll try anything once. I don't care. I love books no matter what. So we'll see if I can get into it. And yeah, that's everything. That's all that I got in the in the box. And so I take these things, like I said, these little like paper things, and I just put them in the book. I you know you can't see it because yeah, but they're they're inside the book. And I put it on my shelf. And hey, stop, don't play with that. Um <laughs> just trying to play with the pin. <laughs> um before I put it on my shelf, I also scan it into my Goodreads, so I have it on there. And my Goodreads app has all of my books that are on my shelves upstairs um, in the app and so they're all cataloged and stuff like that which is amazing whoever came up with an app like that is great I can't tell you how many times I've been in Barnes and Noble looking for books and being like do I have this do I have the first book in this series like I'll you know I'll pick up a book that's like the second or third book in the series and be like do I already have this first one do I you know and I can just check Goodreads and it'll tell me what books I have. So, um, what else do we talk about? I, I don't really have much else to say. Um, I guess that was like a mini life update. I don't know. I'm doing good. Uh, basically, I'm a daycare teacher and our daycare is closed right now. I'm very, very fortunate that I work for a church. Um, they are paying us while we're at home 
I feel very blessed. I'm counting my blessings <laughs> that I work for the church that I work for. Um, and it's, yeah, so I'm home. I love being at home. I'm, I'm an introvert. I recharge at home. But I'm also kind of like done <laughs> with being at home. Um, I run out of things to do during the day. Animal Crossing has been keeping me pretty occupied. Playing New Horizons on the Switch. I love it. And I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. I've been playing since the, the OG Animal Crossing game. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm trying to do some artwork and some coloring. I've got some painting to do and cleaning. But, I mean, this apartment's only so big. Like, I can only clean so much. And so, I don't know. But I'm excited to go back to work. And I'm excited to see the kids at work. Um, I miss them a lot. What is the first thing that you're going to do when all of this quarantine, stay at home stuff with the coronavirus is over? Let me know in the comments. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a haircut. I can't wait to get a haircut. This hair is too long. It's too long. It's too much. I love being able to braid it. It's great being able to braid it. But it's so much shampoo. It takes forever to brush it out. I'm sick of it. I want to get it cut to like right there. And then I can still braid it like on top or put it on like half up, half down. I can still do a lot with it if it's right there. Plus my hair grows like a weed. Um, it's crazy how fast my hair grows. And probably because it's, I mean, it's pretty healthy. I don't put heat on it or do anything to it, so. That was way sidetracked. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go clean my kitchen and feed waffles because I just noticed that her food, food bowl is empty. And maybe go for a walk or something. So, um, I love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I, I'll do it again soon. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing but time right now. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But um, take care.